Um, well, my name is Gail Muzak. Um, first, I would like to thank you, Dr. Flug, for this opportunity. And also, that was my pleasure and an honor. Feel me. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> to meet Miss Anita Westboard. Let me help you a little bit. Because I know, I know how difficult this is, and, and this happens quite often with our students. I said to you, it's not just an assignment where you sit down and write a report. The people do have an impact on you. Of all the things that Anita told you, and I know Anita's story because I've heard it many times, what do you remember the most? Well, the fact that she was, um, the fact that she said she was in the train, um, staring at the window, at her mom, she had to, she had to left mm -hmm. everything behind words, her mom. mom her yeah. Sen okay. Okay. Yes, and she didn't even know where was England. Maybe in a space, <laughs> <laughs> and that was really hard. And I can't even imagine myself because um, th I'm almost three years ago. I'm um, three years ago, for, from the earthquake. I was in Haiti, and. We, me and my mom, me and my family, we lost everything. <laughs> and that was really hard to leave the country and <laughs> to come here. And I already know how it feels <laughs> to leave your family and to come here like knowing you don't know anybody <laughs> and you have to go. <laughs> okay, that's fine, that's fine. Anita. Now, you, you've met her, and, and the reason that our survivors agree, because they are hoping that the interns will retell this story. What, what did you learn from uh, Guile, just as she learned quite a bit from you? What did you learn from her? Well, <coughs> I learned that <coughs> she really knew very little and, <coughs> and never heard about the kinder transport. So that was quite an eye-opener for her. And as usual, when I tell them how I had to leave everything behind, going to a strange country, not knowing who is taking care of you, that always has an impact because she said, I couldn't visualize leaving my mother. And her mother is here today. She brought her mother with her. So. Mom, why don't you stand up so we can. <laughs> so I think. It's a tremendous impact and about our story, which is entirely different. I know we didn't go through the horror of the camps, but I think any child in any age who has to leave everything behind, going to a strange country, not knowing the language, not knowing who is going to take care of them. And there were two-year-old and three-year-olds on the transport to England who had no idea what happened to them. They just cried for their mothers. They couldn't understand. And I think, I always say that I give, my mother gave birth to me twice, when I was born and when she had the strength and the foresight to send me out in the kinder transport. I think the mothers and fathers are the heroes of this story. It's a, it is an amazing 70 years difference to when she had to leave her country and Guy had to leave her country. And look at the reaction both of them. Thank you both very much for participating.